Hello everyone, this is Carl over at Legendary Leatherwork. How are y'all? Today I'm going to continue on with the holster video. So we are going to try to glue these pieces down, or at least one or two of them, so we can get started on that. So let me lay it down right quick. Alright. Cleared off a little area that we can do some gluing with the, uh, the elephant skin and so what I'm going to do is put the elephant grain to the uh, tooling leather grain. So what I'm going to try to do is pull up one side like this and kind of fold it a little. And then get my rubber glue, my rubber cement. And we'll see if we can start applying and go from there. Rubber cement's really good to start off with, and that way, if you if if you make a mistake, you can always peel it apart and start over. But that's not the real reason to use it. It's just a good product to start off with. Get all this area glued down. Make sure it's all up here as well. All right. Lay that down. Rub the glue off. Got to get the glue off so I don't have to put it on the front of the front of the holster. Okay, now pull this pull back my my piece and get it all even. A lot of times when I lean it up, it, it moves. But it seems like it's doing pretty good there. Some of this elephant stretches a little, so it's it's hanging over in some little some of the little curves. But that's okay, we can always trim it off. You want it to be nice and snug, so if it's it's over a little bit. It's not hurting anything at all. Like I say, the elephant stretches a little bit. All right, that little bit's just about down. So, rub some more of this on there. I do like working with this elephant. I was able to purchase this elephant a little while back, as y'all remember. Got this nice piece from Springfield Leather up in Springfield, Missouri. Good, good people up there all the way. Help you in any way. Have all kinds of exotics. Some of them not too bad a price. Some of them as always, they are pricey, but that is mainly because of the leathers or the the exotics that you purchase. Elephant's always going to be a, a very pricey item. It's just that's what the industry dictates. It it, it tells you this is going to be a high price. Same with alligator, <clears throat> crocodile. Hippo, all very pricey. Okay, got just a little bit more up here. This piece will somewhat be glued down. Try to get this in there. I need a little more. There we go. That's a liberal amount. Kind of stretch it. When you stretch it a little bit, and it, like I say, you, you got it, trim it around the edges, but 
on the back side, it, it, it's a tighter, tighter fit. Anytime you can stretch the leather a little bit and not mess with the the um, temp or the the nap of it, I guess you could say, then you're doing pretty good. And in this case, this one is all, you know, don't have any seam or ripples in it at all. Good and snug. I left I left that uh, not actually glued. Let's see. No, I'm sorry. This right here, I'm going to pull up after it dries a little more. I'm going to cut this off right here. That way you've got a little bit more room to work with there. But I've got to re-glue that. The reason why I'm going to cut that off is because there's going to be another panel that goes over the top of this elephant and the panel will be really thick if you don't trim it off. So that's what I do on it. If I was using the thinner leather and the elephant is fairly thin as you can tell it's re really supple but it is a, a very strong skin. So I want to make sure that it won't be way too thick up here with the other panel. It comes down here all the way over to here. So I'm just going to trim it off right there. That way that'll be a little bit thinner. Okay, but for right now, that's glued down. And this will be the back. And the reason why I say that is most people are right-handed. This will be the back side, and I'm going to trim all this off. So now let's glue up a couple of the, uh, the, the two straps. Very simple. We'll, I will bevel or finish. Whoop, yeah, that's right. I will finish the edges, make them real nice and pretty. Get those all sharp looking. Nice side over. Gluing this stuff down is not too big of a deal. Just want to make sure you get a liberal amount of the. Um, rubber cement and yeah, I didn't put enough on it hold on sorry about that my little bottle that I use is almost empty so liberal amount that's good try this again All right quick I know, you're thinking, okay, blind man gluing. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> and it's all by touch, as y'all can tell, <laughs> which is good. Okay, got a little bit there. Then we'll glue this other side. Right that up in there. tight snug it up a little it's got some elasticity to it as you can tell it's coming up just a little bit here from the tightness when I pulled on it but when it tightens down it'll come out really good all right pull that over get that lined up stretch that a little. Make sure these edges are snug on the edge. 
There we go. All right. Another glue down. Now I've got another one of these, and then I've got the other piece here that I've got to glue down. Oops, there we go. And this is the pad that I told you that's going to go over uh, the top of over the top like this. So you got to figure, guys, with all that leather sticking up there, it'll like this. <laughs> with all those pieces, there's just quite a bit of leather there. So what I'm going to do is pull this off, trim this, cut that right there. And that way it'll be a little bit smoother when it is put there. So it won't be so thick there. See there? If we were to add that extra piece and left it there, you're talking about a bunch of leather. So, way to make shortcuts, just trim it off right about there and then cover it up no one will ever know it's gone that'll work okay let's get you all fixed up there well guys I appreciate y'all hanging out with me for a little bit we uh, as I said we're working on the elephant elephant gun holster pattern it's going to be a uh, for a um, a Glock 19 but this pattern will fit a Glock, a Smith & Wesson just about any 9mm that will come about and it will fit really good and it has this here is for a cartridge so everybody always carries a cartridge so we'll be able to uh, make the uh, cartridge holster as well and in the next video, what I'm going to do is trim off on the other, when it's like this, I'm going to trim this off right here. And I'll explain why when we do the next video. But for now, guys, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. If you guys like the videos, please subscribe. If you are a subscriber, thank you, thank you. If you're not, please do become a subscriber. Ring the bell for all the notifications coming up for the new videos. And uh, please share and like. Share to everybody you can. Hopefully, everybody will like them. And then go from there. If uh, uh, Please go to www.legendaryleatherwork.com. That is the website that you can see some of these items on the, uh, the website. And I'm always trying to add... Uh, items to it so continually checking back and then if you like the YouTube uh, legendary leather work here at the YouTube the titles usually are blind leather worker and go in and watch some of the videos that are out there I have quite a few and uh, please give me some comments let me know what's going on <laughs> and um, for uh, for Nick in Estonia thank you for uh, subscribing and thank you for purchasing one of the uh, wallets uh, for Nick again another gentleman named Nick up in uh, Indiana thank you so much as well and um, for now guys I will let you go uh, if you want to get a hold of me contact me uh, through the website uh, legendary it's Carl K-A-R-L at legendary leatherwork.com or Give me a phone call, area code 817-903-5415. Okay, have a good one, guys. Take care.